one of the magic centers of the world, one of the world's dreaming places, ought to point the way to the world. For here lives the great music of humanity, the harmonization of our different histories, cultures, geniuses, and dreams. City of tradition, conquests, and variety. City of commerce and the famous river. Tell everyone that the future is yet unmade. It's very important that we instill confidence in our young people, particularly in an area where there's a high level of economic disadvantage because children can give up. Well, I think education gives you choices and certainly within a large city like London where there are big pockets of deprivation and we have to recognise that. It is education's responsibility to raise those children up out of deprivation and give them the possibilities and the opportunities to do something different with their lives. I think an inspirational teacher always kind of want to go above and beyond what the subject matter is and they kind of create that enthusiasm, they create that environment in the classroom where the students want to go above and beyond. It is really about exploding the potential of each individual. It is about making them human beings of wonder in relation to the world in which we live. The education system in London is facing continual challenges, the number of places in primary school and the number of complex special needs cases. London is going to go through an absolutely massive population growth. These people have to be educated to be able to take their places within the economy that London has. The London Schools Excellence Fund has been brilliant in giving us the capacity to really make a difference. Most of our children start with us in year seven, two or three years behind with their reading. And by sharing best practice with other schools, developing materials ourselves, we've been able to accelerate their learning so that they can catch up this gap. They discover what we have inside of us, what we want to achieve, what we want to do in the future. And that really inspires me. Cherry Orchard serves a really diverse community from over 69% of us speaking English as an additional language to a high proportion well above national and special educational needs and so we're not phased by anything that comes our way and part of that is because schools in London work closely together we always know where we can go to for support. Two years ago we were invited to become a Gold Club member school based on our results and for us it really signifies that what we are doing is working. It's vitally important for schools to share best practice and that's one of the reasons why we wanted to get involved with the London Schools Excellence Fund. Like all schools we were struggling for space and we didn't have space to house a library so we bought a bus we towed it into school and we transformed it into a library. And you can imagine the impact that it's had on the children. We ran a research project actually just in school last year looking at best practice in language teaching and we found that the children are getting a little bit of Mandarin every single day. Their achievement was way better. ChemNet has been established for about five years and it's our network for 14 to 18 year olds. It was set up because we thought there was a real need to kind of enthuse students um, to take up chemistry by offering them a support network and then obviously coming to events to see real life chemistry in action. We know that there's going to be a shortfall in the number of people in STEM careers by 2020 and so I think it's really, really important that we do encourage more and more students to go into STEM subjects. The most interesting thing was seeing that chemistry is not just about experiments and chemicals and lab coats. We got to see a different side to chemistry and now I'm definitely considering a career in chemistry. I think it's very important to have closer ties between the schools and the galleries because the galleries are places where you get a concrete image of learning. The best galleries are memories of some of the greatest achievements of, of humankind. 
Today I have learned about how being a Londoner it's important to learn about the past. I think this is because it's just a way to remind me that I myself as a British Bangladeshi need to try my hardest to make my mark on London's history. Apprenticeships are really important now because they provide a really relevant opportunity for people to earn while they learn. We need to work more closely with industry so that we are working together to provide this skilled workforce for the future. I think the Mayor's Education Conference provides a wonderful forum ensuring that we get it right in providing young people that are able to continue to establish London's place as one of the most exciting, vibrant places to work in the world. This is an opportunity for us really to meet people we would never meet normally and to listen to them and hear their stories and their journeys and take a little bit of that and use it for our own professional development. We have wonderful young people here in London with great skills, unique abilities and if we can get the best out of them we can achieve amazing things. Inspirational teaching is not just about teaching, it is finally about life itself. It is awakening students to the magic and the toughness of life and giving students hope.